extra, extra, extra. extra. extra, extra. <laughs> okay, um, how great is this? A huge now and then reunion for you guys. Yes. yes, we love it. Almost 30 years, because the, I just checked, the movie came out in 95, and next year's 30 years? Yes, yes. my son turns 30 next year, so yeah. that's how I, yeah, it's, it's hard to believe it's been that long. It's hard to believe the baby that was crawling on her lap is now Dakota, and, you know, and I was didn't have children yet, and I looked at Mel, and I looked at Demi and Rita and said, I can do it if they can do it, and it inspired me to have kids on a set and to still act, and it's been a beautiful relationship for all these decades. Um, any highlights from working with uh, these oh, I guess the, the biggest one was Rita giving birth. That was that was that was a really fun day. That was a fun that day. That was a fun day. That was a fun day. Yeah. All of it. All of it, really. You know, look, we are really, and, and what Demi created, because she was a producer of Now and Then, uh, what she created in that was a sense of community and a sense of camaraderie. And I think that's the thing that's somewhat unspoken in our business is the community that actually is created amongst women and amongst people. And uh, nowadays it's a little harder because we all work all over the world and all over the country and we're not in this one place. But uh, nights like this allow us to celebrate each other and the long friendships. 50 years, over 30 years, same with Demi. You guys are all presenting, introducing Demi tonight. How, how, uh, what do you guys think about Demi? How special is, of a person is she? Well, she's a feminist icon. She's a hero. She's a Hollywood movie star. She's intelligent, compassionate, kind. She's productive. And she really is a mensch. She cares about her friends, her family. And uh, I just think she's phenomenal. And I respect her and admire her. And I'm honored to be here doing this for her. She's strong, she's yes. fierce, she's supportive, she's inclusive. She has never, ever turned her back on women. Yes. And all the projects that she's done mostly have been in support of what a woman has to say and using a woman's voice. That is yeah. something that was before her time. She, and, and a lot of times she got heat for it. Even when she was doing movies, even when she got... The, when she was the most highly paid female actress ever, she got heat for that. Men didn't get heat for it. She did. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay, so we're celebrating a bunch of wonderful women tonight. I'm going to ask you all the same question. Who is one woman that you are very inspired by? Oh. Wow. Uh, it's okay. You can say me. <laughs> Rita and Rosie. I, I guess I would say Gloria Steinem. Really? Yeah. I absolutely would say Nora Ephron. Nora Ephron, her voice as a writer, her voice as a journalist, her voice as a director, and her voice as a friend, and also as a chef. But she was a person that I felt really saw me as a, an actor that could do her material in the way that she wanted it to be heard. She. Um, inspired me to write. I mean, the first time I ever wrote anything was because Nora said, you can do this. It was for Harper's Bazaar. <gasps> oh my God. She made, you another... do it. She, oh, made she made me do it. But yeah. she also said this to me, tell them, I'm going to tell you something that all journalists know. Tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you told them. <laughs> That's a good plan. Is that? Yes. I would say Joni Mitchell. She oh. has... She's yes. the poet of my yes. life. Yes. She every time that something big happens in the world, it's a lyric of Joni Mitchell that comes to give me solace. And you know, with the election, let me speak, let yes. me spit out my bitterness, yes. born yes. of grief and nights without sleep and festering flesh. Oh, that that's what I felt the night of the election. And Joni Mitchell was there to save me as usual. But could we ever see you work with Dakota? I'm trying to remember. We all, we worked together when she was little. Her first movie was in, her first part was in Crazy in Alabama. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Another time? Maybe, maybe. She's fantastic. It's not a no. It's not a no, that's for sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Much.